hi everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to look at how to analyze multiple response survey data where responses appear in multiple columns and each selection for each response is coded as zero or one where one means that that option was selected and zero means otherwise so this kind of survey multiple response survey data is common for uh, platforms like kobo toolbox and some other uh survey platforms uh depending on how you specify your multiple response question to uh appear when you download your survey data we are also going to look at how do we uh summarize our multiple response uh survey data using a pivot table and also be able to divide the number of responses uh by the number of respondents inside the pivot table and this will really help us to make reference to uh, the subsample or total respondents who answered that question. So, uh, the data we are using is a, is a survey uh, data where we ask the respondents which of the following devices do you own? So, um, the options were feature phones, smartphone, tablets, laptop, desktop. So, respondents had uh, the option of selecting more than one uh, option. So, um, we exported our data and we we have the multiple response question, which was question five appearing this way. So one thing about this kind of uh, multiple response survey data is that often depending on how you specify your multiple response, uh, you are likely to have the options appear uh, and indexed by the question or the, if you use IDs to describe your, your question. So, and then each uh, each entry for, for each of these columns are coded uh as zero or one where zero means that that option in that column wasn't selected by the respondent and one means that it was selected so for example uh respondent one with the id one um for the first column here we have is coded as zero that means that uh that respondent didn't select that option so here is one that means it was selected in that order so how do we handle this kind of multiple response survey data all right so first we go to data from data, you go to uh, from table or range and load it to Power Query. So once you load it to Power Query, uh, the first thing you need to do is to look for your multiple response column. Multiple, then select all these multiple response columns. So if you press Control and select uh, and click on each of the columns, uh, you'll be able to select all these columns. So once you select all the multiple response columns, so after this, you go to replace values so what we need to do is to replace all zeros uh with now because all those that uh are coded zero means that that option wasn't selected so we configure it uh so the power query will know that those entries are, are are now okay so once we do this the next thing is to go to transform from transform you go to unpivot uh columns so then and pivot only selected columns so the next thing is we we need to uh find and replace this full question or whatever is indexed by the uh the response so you server comes with the response that we want you select or copy and then go and select the attribute column so once you select the attribute column you go to replace values and then replace all that you've copied uh you now have all the options that were selected by the respondents in the attribute column and this is what we need uh for our analysis so we can name this column as question five devices they own all right so this is the column we need so we don't need this values column we can remove it great so once we we are done you you go to home load this uh into your data models and then we need a pivot table in an existing sheet uh we add this to our data model so we want to add this pivot table to the analysis sheet so we load our pivot table okay so we've created our pivot table so this is the unpivoted data table so the last column is our multiple response column so we'll pick this and drop it in the row first so what we want to do is that we want to count this uh responses 
uh, by the number of responders. So we pick this ID. So the ID identifies uh, individual respondents uh, in the uh, in our data. So we pick this and drop it in the values field. So by default, because these are numbers and they are numeric, uh, pivot table will summarize it by sum. But we need count. We don't need sum. So we summarize this by count. All right. So when we look at the grand total, we see that we have 75, even though the number of respondents in the survey uh, was 50. So uh, because the respondents could select more than one, we have the grand total to be more than 50. But in our analysis, we want to make reference to the number of respondents who answered this question. So what we do is that we need to add this ID again, but now we need to summarize it by distinct counts. And then we'll see that our grand total is now 50, which is the number of respondents who answered that question. And the number of selections are still the same. So once we have this, we can now divide each uh, of these counts as percentage of our column total. And then uh, that is it. So, and we have our uh, results for the multiple response question. Uh, so that is it. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.